And there is missing from the Coventry City team today the first fixture of a two-match suspension. And eight of the 12 names that we're looking at are new to the club this season. The four old hands being Bennett, Peak, Adams and Gin, and they're only in their second season with the club. So every player has been signed by Bobby Gould. Southampton's run of 20 domestic games without defeat rather crashed at Queen's Park Rangers where they lost by four goals to nil but they're unbeaten in the league since September and there's only one change in their side and that's because of a nose injury to Mark Whitlock he's replaced by Ruben Agbula who gains preference over Mark Wright who because there isn't a reserve team match being played today is playing for the A team and it's happy birthday to the gentleman who came from Verona Joe Jordan, who is 33 today. The referee is the FIFA man from Cluid, Ron Bridges. This really hasn't been a happy ground for Southampton. Their last victory here, in fact, was in 1949. Since then, they've lost 16 times out of 23. First touch for Peter Barnes, Alan Curtis and Ruben Agbula. Plenty of room for Dennis, that's where the pass was intended, but this is Cyril Regis. Good challenge. In fact, two of them. First touch for Bowman. Who actually crossed without looking. Jin. Ruben, uh, Ruben Agbulu had his uh, problems earlier in the season. Armstrong. Free kick given against Stevens. Quite a pleasant, bright afternoon. Although there has been fog around the uh, environs of Coventry. Dennis with the throw. Curtis making the first run. Bond with the back flick. And a corner has been given. Bond's back header, but Grizovic adjudged to have carried the ball over the line as he caught it. Steve Moran. Away by Regis. Curtis. Not too much width. Rather spoon by Mills. Could be a break. Well, the intention was clear from Regis. But he meant the ball to be a great deal further forward than that. Peter Barnes had to go back to collect. Two lined up with him. Forced him across. Bennett. Goal kick. Furthest forward for Steve Agrizovic. Clearance landing in the city half. Peak with the free kick. Good shot by Sheldon. Away, away. Regis. Bowman! Good save! That could have been a fine start. Not the easiest of balls, it was quite high. But he forced Peter Shilton into a good save. After Southampton defenders had failed to comply with his instructions and get the ball away. Regis on the near post, Shilton in the hole behind. Dennis Armstrong 
Regis. Ball got up quite high. Jin, good pace. Matched by the left leg of Bond. Jin. Out by Bond. Bowman. Another good strike. As well to keep it down. But couldn't get it on target. Looks a useful purchase by Bobby Gould. Breaking against Mills. Well, a very satisfactory first half for the new boy, David Bowman. Certainly tightened defensively in the middle of midfield in front of the back four and provided the two best strikes of the half, one of which was the only serious threat to a half-time score of nil-nil, which produced a good save from Peter Shilton. Now Joe Jordan gets the second half underway. I wonder what the managers would have said at half-time. Certainly they'll be hoping for rather more goal attempts than we saw during the first period. Southampton soldiering on, of course, without their England men, Mark Wright and Steve Williams. Although Steve Williams Still hasn't gone to Arsenal. He was expected he'd go there quite quickly, but it hasn't proved to be the case. Away by Martin Joel. Well, I can't believe that uh, she could be described as a hooligan, but she seemed to want to get out of the pitch. Regis. Slight increase in the tempo. Jin and Dennis. Corner. Stevens. Regis at the back. Trevor Freak, the scorer. Long cross that found Regis parallel with the back post. He nodded it across and Peak got in the header that Shilton struggled to keep out but failed to do. 52 minutes gone and the opening goal at Highfield Road goes to the Coventry skipper. Wallace. Perhaps a good moment to put on the record that Southampton's last league defeat was against Sheffield Wednesday back in September. In fact, it was their third defeat in their first four games of the season. A year ago today, Coventry were in fourth place in the first division, having the previous week put four goals past Liverpool here. Since then, in 43 matches, they've managed just eight victories and stand one from bottom in the first division. Agbula. Peak. Bennett. Free kick against Holmes. All amounted to a handoff.
Jin takes it quickly. Regis. Fine save. But what a beautiful piece of play by Cyril Regis. That was play of old. And a good save by Peter Shilton. Stopped it being 2 nothing. Really lovely chest trap. And the shot on the volley. Dennis. Jin. Nice little run. And this is Stevens. Came off Holmes. Brilliant save! Shot from Peter Barnes. And a magnificent save by Peter Shilton. Suddenly, a couple of old England players are bringing out some star from the present England goalkeeper, but not then! Came off Nick Holmes, who was supposed to be covering the near post. In fact, they had two men there, but the ball came off Holmes and hit the shins of Shilton. And Coventry have a second goal given them by the opposition. Bennett. The referee endeavoured to play the advantage and in the end decided he'd have to give the free kick. Some good refereeing by the Welsh FIFA official. Could easily have blown earlier but tried to play the advantage and then when it didn't accrue, as it were, gave it back to Coventry. Regis on the six-yard line. Kill Klein, beaten by Jordan. Here's Bowman. Good punch, although Holmes got right in his way. Bowman. And the scratch of the head says a great deal about what's happening in the Southampton defence all of a sudden. And Bobby Gould's breath adding to the conditions. Curtis, Barnes, good footwork, they stood the challenge of Agbula too, oh, it's got through, how many does he want to take, unbelievable and he very nearly made it, thoroughly deserved applause for Peter Barnes. better this time same two on the post incidentally Holmes and Dennis Bennett's well, it's been said often enough but what a difference a goal makes to a team Coventry have been totally different since Peak put them ahead and Southampton have brought on David Puckett He's replaced Steve Moran. Holmes. Curtis. Danny Wallace. I think that's the first run we've seen from him, and it was effectively ended by Mick Adams. Mills. for a turn met by Kiel Klein Regis it was a bit short but it worked Kiel Klein and here's Jordan the goal is open and it's 2-1 and the birthday boy scores and Coventry caught going forward Kiel Klein unable to clear and Joe Jordan Running in, 
to score his ninth of the season. So 20 minutes left. And Southampton once again offer a threat. It's getting worse, as you can see from that shot. Regis, and in fact, not quite. Three, four for Southampton, two just behind. Here's Jordan. Puckett! Good save by Grzovic. Spread his considerable frame very well indeed. Lovely flick through. And Puckett with the player in on the goalkeeper who did supremely well and he had his difficult moments with handling in the first half but he may well have ensured three points for Coventry City there Bond and Regis every Southampton player moving forward Kill Klein underneath it Joel not a time for anything fancy Immediate return by Mills. Bond. Move into the last minutes. Armstrong underneath it. Puckett. Put away by Bowman. And a really rather silly push by Adams. Puts his side under pressure to the finish. Wallace with the kick. Now Jin. Bennett. We've got a third man up on the far side, and I think he's still time. Peter Shilton with his body all behind the shot. Barnes. And it's just a question now of what Mr Bridges has on his watch. The lance that he's made for the odd injury in stoppage. And we know that the fog has lost, but have Southampton. Bond. Bennett to Wallace. Line of five. Peel for handball by Bowman. Would have been a very brave referee to give that. And Bowman has four up with him. Barnes on the far side. He's got to pick up somebody. The signs that possession is more important. Regis didn't make contact. Well, the gift wrap goal conceded by Southampton on their near posts when Holmes and Dennis allowed the ball to go through to ricochet in of Peter Shilton's legs proves decisive and gives three points to Coventry who were given the lead by their captain Trevor Peak. but it speaks volumes for the spirit of Southampton in their recent trouble times that they came back well but could only gain the consolation of a birthday goal for Joe Jordan final score at a very misty Highfield Road, but a happy one. Coventry City 2, Southampton 1.